Hello everybody, welcome to another fun-filled night of slot car racing. And tonight we're down at the Daytona 500. This time around, unlike in the 50s, I actually built the thing more or less properly to what it's supposed to be. However, I had to make a quick uh, track adjustment for table space. Anyway, let's come down and see how well I did this track. And I hope you like it. And here we are at the Daytona 500. We'll just whip down into the pits here. Show you how this is done. All right, so we got our start finish gate and then we have a break in the table. This is our regular rectangle with some side additions. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of track. Then we get into our curve. So I've got the three, the R3 and R4 embankments. I've got one, two, three R3s and six R4s. Then I got two straights, and this styrofoam support here. And then we go one, two with the R3s and four R4s. And then another two. Now according to the plan I have, it's actually supposed to go about maybe three or four more pieces, and then end up out here. But I couldn't do that, so I had to make the curve here. So there's our final one, R3 and two R4s. Then I have one, two, three, four straights, and then three one quarters. And then we get into our other curve here, so a 3 30 and a, a four 15s, two of them. And then I put my crosses here, and now this piece of styrofoam fell over because if you look under here, it's perfectly smooth. There's nothing for the styrofoam to grip to. So I'm just kind of hoping this will prop up like that. Okay, then we get into this curve here. There goes our styrofoam. So one, two, our threes, and four our fours, and then two straights, and then back, this is like a 90 degree here. So one, two, three, our threes, and six our fours, and then we go one, two, three, start, finish gate. <coughs> now something these high bank tracks, they always have to twist up here. I got a styrofoam support I cut at an angle here just to hold this upper rail up. These are all locked in with the red pins going this way just to keep this track all level and stable because otherwise this would sink and come at a different angle. Um, I had this cross originally over there in the center but as the car whipped down that way it would just skid right off. So I put it over here where it's a little more level and then I got my two here. These don't seem to get hurt too much with cars. Speeding off we'll find out. I have no guardrails to put up because guys keep breaking them off. So tonight we'll see how they do. Hopefully not too much gets airborne and busted. But anyway I hope you enjoy this better attempt at the Daytona ring. And now, let's head back to our start-finish gate and begin our race. All right, deadly tonight. Oh. Come on, Devin. 
Oh. Guess must be completely out of cards by now. Oh. <laughs> I hope none of these go airborne. <laughs> oh. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big entanglement. Oh, you got taken off. Does that count as a car? How many foot shots? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. You know what? It's called NASCAR. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's worse than the accident in Pettyhead. The 80s. Poor baby. Out of the body shop. <laughs> so what are we down to? Three cars. Three cars. Oh. Oh. Two cars. Dale and oh. oh. the last car. Fall over, Trevor. That would be a bad thing. So who do we got? We got Dale and Howard. <laughs> No idea what position I'm in. You know, we need the first or second, Dale. Yeah, one there. One of the two. You don't call me the blue street for nothing. I'll call you the blue street. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh! Last one! Howard's out. So there's Dale as a victor. Thank you. <laughs> so is this accurate? Six one five four uh, two four three. Sixty-eight laps. Is it still counting? Time hasn't gone. Timer hasn't gone, but is the race done? Well, you won, yeah. <laughs> Here's the board at the end of the race. Now we only did six races because we've now got 13 people in the league and this is starting to cut in because we're doing five minute races and then it's about five minutes to figure out whose controller is what and who who was on what controller and then another five minutes to get the guys the second guys lined up and then another five minutes to race. So we're doing about 20 minutes per heat so it's getting we had to scale back a little bit so out of six races i got 28 points matt got 21 steven our new racer he got 14 devon got 15 mark got 10 kevin got 33 fred got 31 dale was in first with 46 mike got 30 josh got 13 he wasn't doing so hot alan didn't show Roger got 14. He actually improved quite a bit because uh, the modifications I did on his car there. Actually, not really modifications. I just got the thing running right. And Howard got 40 points. So how does this look over here in our standings? Now, things shifted around and I actually got up into third place. But it's potentially fourth because there is two ties here at second. So... We have Dale in first with 138 points. And we've got uh, Kevin and Howard both tied at 118. And then I'm at 116, so I'm only two points behind. And then we got Devin at 104 in fourth. Matt in fifth with 99. Uh, Fred in sixth with 93. Mike in seventh place with 72. 
Mark in eighth with 70. So, Josh in ninth place with 68. Roger in tenth with 42. And Alan in eleventh place with 24. And Stephen, our newest, in twelfth place with 14. So, like I said, we got 13 players now. And actually, the races might even be shorter because I'm going to have to do three, three heats with two with four guys and one with five to make this balance up. So next week we'll be at the exciting Watkins Glen, which is more of a street type, not really a street, but um, what would you call it? An endurance race course because they actually have to turn right and left. So... We look forward to seeing you in our next races, and remember to visit us online, www.monster-hobbies.ca, which is still under construction, um, in as far as events go, anyway. And uh, visit us on Facebook, that's always ongoing and always updating, and that is Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and of course, phone the store, 403-652-652. 5019. That's long distance if you're out of Canada. <laughs> or even if you're in some parts of Canada. Anyway, we look forward to your next our next race, Watkins Glen, and and be sure to join us. We'll see you soon. Bye.